Hello everyone, welcome back to Surya Studios and I have some exciting news upcoming that's going to be happening August 21st. The VIP program is no more. LEGO is moving on from that. They're actually doing a major upgrade to the VIP program, but it's no longer going to be called VIP. It's going to be called LEGO Insider. Now, this LEGO Insider program, it's going to be way more user friendly. It's going to have connected accounts with the LEGO store, with LEGO Ideas website, you know, saying login, account, all that stuff. It's going to be just sort of like all in one app versus multiple different logins and multiple different sites. It's just going to be better. One thing that I'm super excited about because we're going to keep a lot of the same VIP stuff. Let's the stuff such as like early releases, um, cool purchases, uh, how you can use your VIP points for discounts, or it won't be VIP points anymore, like or insider points for discounts uh, online or in store, or for like those posters or tickets to the Lego house in Denmark or whatever have you. Uh, that will all still be the same. As far as I'm concerned, on August 21st, uh, I'm assuming all of our Lego VIP points are going to just shift over to Lego Insider. So you don't need to go out and use all your Lego V points that would be really stupid of lego if that was not the case the cool thing about this that really caught my eye and you might be wondering nathan why do you have like so many instruction booklets out on your table right now well let me tell you the reason being is because lego has said that in this program you will get to scan these QR codes at the bottom of the instruction booklet. And I believe there have been QR codes on these since 2019, I wanna say. I don't think any earlier, I don't think I have any earlier that has QR codes. So this is only from 2019, which is probably why they, they, they're they doing this because they know that like it's not like every instruction booklet ever that you have, it's only in the past uh, what would that be, five years-ish, uh, by the time this program comes out, you can scan these QR codes for points. The points add up uh, or equivocate to 15 cents. But that's a lot of money in points, if you think about it. Here's the thing. I'm not sure how this is going to correlate with the whole, if you pay $100 worth of Lego, you get an equivalent of $5 worth of points in return. Uh, because it says you're going to be able to do this with new and existing uh, instruction sets. So I'm wondering if that means like if you buy a set, let's say you buy a set that's 100 bucks, you get your $5 worth of LEGO Insider points, and then when you scan the instruction booklet inside, you get an extra 15 cents. Now, I also know that each of these QR co codes are unique to not just each set, so if you, uh, so for example, I have a lot of Fiber First Battle Pack instruction booklets. Uh, each of these are unique. So you can scan as many as you want. Like it's not one QR code for each Fiber First Battle Pack. Now they might do a restriction, I'm not quite sure about that, um, but I'm pretty sure each instruction booklet's QR code is its own uniqueness. So I think you can scan as many of these as you want. On top of which, if you have a set that has multiple instruction booklets, like this is marked instruction booklet one, so there's gotta be multiple, each of those has a separate QR code as well. So you'll be able to scan those individually uh, from the set. So if there's three instruction booklets in a set, you'd be essentially getting 45 extra cents. Now, the whole QR code, now I did get this info from MNR Productions about uh, each set is, has its unique QR code. Uh, I am skeptical about that because it would make sense that if you get a Fiber First Battle Pack, that each QR code is the same. Um, because if you're scanning that to get a link to a Fiber First instruction booklet, uh, I'm not sure why LEGO would do multiple types of QR codes to get to the same supposed virtual instruction booklet link. Now it does also make, but it does make sense that each of them would be different, however, because if they're doing this program, if all these were the same, uh, then you could essentially uh, have all your friends scan the same booklet and Lego wouldn't know, because if all the QR codes are the same, they can't tell the difference between instruction booklets. So I, with the whole program and such, um, I am more inclined to believe that each of these QR codes are different so that uh, if you have 10 Power First Battle Packs, you can get, uh, what's that? Um, $1.50 back from that, which I'm super excited because right when that comes out, right when that happens on August 21st, I'm instantly scanning every single instruction booklet that I have that has a QR code. It's gonna be amazing. I don't know if I've complained about this on this channel yet, but I 
was a little miffed that in the UCS sets that they're coming in separate instruction booklets instead of one big book because I, I personally like the one big book um, only because it, it just feels powerful when you're building from just this. It's like, oh, this is going to be a big set. Uh, but now it sort of makes sense. And I guess it sort of made sense before because if you're putting all these instruction booklets online, you don't want to have to download like a several gigabyte file. Um, you want to split that up into separate files. So for like the UCS gunship that came in separate instruction manuals. And if you're doing the, um, you know, whole thing with putting, making them virtual, then that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, I'm pretty sure both of these sets came out before 2019, so I don't think any of them have a QR code on them. Uh, but that is, that's just an interesting point. So as far as the number of instruction booklets that you'll need to get to a dollar, uh, if you have seven of them, that's a dollar and five cents. If you have 70 of them, that's ten dollars and fifty cents, if my math is correct. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you have a lot of instruction booklets, I mean, you could easily get, uh, as I said, seventy. You could just get ten dollars off. There you go. Uh, sure, it will take some time, but honestly, not that much. Just like put on, watch some Sawyer Studios videos as you, uh, you know, QR code some of these instruction booklets. So there you go. Uh, I'm excited for that. I I don't know how many points I'll get. I'm because a lot of the sets that I bought, let's, I'm, I'm going to be honest, a lot of them were pre-2019 when the Clone Wars were hot. So I actually don't know how many instruction booklets I actually have post-2019. I guess within the five years, I did buy a lot of Fiber First Battle Packs. I think I should have at least 70 sets. And if I have at least 70 sets, then, you know, that'll be, that'll get me to over $10 off on my current VIP points, which once again, going to start calling it Lego Insider. So that's just a fun new thing Lego is doing. I'm personally excited for it. There's a lot of new things happening with Lego actually, like the new pick a brick uh, boxes instead of cups, which are going to be so much better to put in bricks and plates than the cylindrical shape of those um, cups that we, that we get at pick a brick walls. And then also the fact that Lego is getting rid of like cash registers that you can just check out at a portable sort of like cashier thing. I mean, well, the Lego store here has already switched over to that where uh, the employees just carry around these like small little pocket registers where you can just insert the card and there you go. Boom, you checked out. Don't even have to go to the counter. Definitely will be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more prone to impulse buy if they can be like, yeah, you want this set? Sure, give me your credit card. We'll do it right now. Uh, so lots of new things with Lego. It seems like Lego's trying to like, you know, get a little bit more current with the times. I think it is about time for an upgrade when it comes to whole the whole application, making it user-friendly and stuff. But that, this is cool. This is fun. I can't wait. I might just do like, I might do a live stream of me just scanning all my instruction booklets just to see how much money I get. So there we go. So, serious, quick video today. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace out.